So we're back yet again. Another rookie season this morning. Take a little stroll with Caesar. I'm still not allowed to, I'm in steps, so I can't really take my normal route where I do a quite hefty amount in the morning as I'm still forcing my steps to keep me kept low. So for now, it's uh, it's always a little walk in the woods and then in the park and then home and then eat breakfast, chill and get some work done. Today's a check-in day, so I've got plenty of work to kind of crack on with from the morning. Uh, try and get majority of it done before training and then uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll have a, a lot of videos sent for assessment after I finish training. So I do try and get a majority of the day kind of done before I train. So uh, we'll have to get back and crack on. But today we'll have a push session at Ultrafix Rotherham. So we'll go in depth, obviously our push session set up right now. Uh, we don't actually have any force reps in. At the moment it's just straight sets to failure. So we will show you that and we'll show you how we get on. So uh, let's get it on. So, the morning drink. We have Please ignore my wet hair. Cooper's made me come on video when I've got wet hair and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the morning drink. We've got freshly squeezed oh, orange right. juice. We've got apple cider vinegar, hydration formula, um, vitamin C, um, the, what's it called version? The liquid version, and then some hot water to make it taste a little bit nicer. <laughs> it goes down, I think, for his okay. highness. <laughs> King Kubra. This is uh, my birthday present of Anf. <laughs> you know, it's meant to go up on bedroom wall, but that's actually going to go up on the gym wall. <laughs> Hashtag skip leg day. <laughs> he knows how to skip leg day. Thing is, I don't change my I don't change my schedule for no one. And that's a funny story I'll tell you, right? Jordan actually didn't want to train with Phil Heath when he got him over for the for the site for the site video. And he messaged me and was like, Do you want to train with Phil? I really don't want to do it. I'm like, Nah, mate. I did pull that two days ago, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> and that's legit. You can ask Jordan himself. So now, if you said Ronnie or Jay or like someone like Hunter or Dorada, then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'll train. But Phil, nah. By the way, that's no disrespect to Phil. He's unreal. But if you guys see him train, it would be a nightmare for me. It'd be like. What do you think, Jay? Yeah, I don't think I won't, you, I won't be able to cope. It would be a frustrating session. Yeah, for sure. I, it just, I know I won't be able to train the way I want to train, so Phil is just all about, and then he just puts it down after like eight reps. No effort whatsoever, which is amazing, really, because he's one of the best ever. But uh, it's not how we do. Graft. Always, always. Always some new plans. A couple of new people are starting this week actually. And then uh, I just finished a, a seven page document for everyone yesterday. That got sent through last night. So I'm going to be cracking over another one starting from next week. Uh, just more of a workbook for more, more clients. So that way, just uh, giving, a, giving back a little bit more and just uh, making sure everyone gets uh, a bit more Bang for the book, if it makes sense, guys. How many check-ins? Mm. So we've done about 10 already. Probably about, Thursday's quite a busy day, so we're probably about 30 people checking in on Thursday. So I'm gonna try and get, I've done about 10. I'll try and get at least another 10 to 15 done before I train. Gotta get it done. Just eating my second meal now. I'll eat a pre-workout meal at around two o'clock, two hours from now. And then uh, crack on. Try and get a lot of work done by two, so in a couple hours just getting it done. Should be sound, should be good to go. Pre workout meal. Going in. See? It's not just her cooking, you know. I cook. Tremendous cook actually. You know. 
Is that like I said it then? I almost said it like uh, America's best president ever. <laughs> Tremendous. So this is going to be the pre pasta, beef, and raisins. If you want to get massive, eat raisins and uh, shrimp sandwiches. Coffee time and pre workout. know the location we're outside the castle actually I did actually make a post about it today uh, we've had a couple move down specifically from Rome they've actually relocated bought a house in Sheffield just to be able to train here so things like this really put things in perspective like what we are doing with the place is pretty special in terms of obviously the equipment the atmosphere and the facility that we are bringing for people really really means a lot as people are not only relocating from all around in England, I think people are relocating from Europe now, so I think that's definitely uh, something worth mentioning, I think, and it definitely means a lot to me. DJ now, is it? Bangers, absolute bangers. And I was into techno, you want to come to the opera? Got a nice little mix, you know, techno, hip hop, and then rock. Tell you what mood we There's certain movements where after a long period of time actually using them over the course of the time I think you know it's time to switch when it just doesn't feel right and I think with the Atlanta side lateral race there's definitely time it's the time has come for us to switch and I think uh, there's always a, a kind of time limit in which you can run with a certain movement until it starts feeling off so the time has definitely come it's an excellent piece of equipment it's one of the best lateral machines in the world but we're fortunate to, enough to have another one, so we switch. Game time! Let's go. That's inaccurate. Stay on the whole time. So any lateral movement, you never have one to retract. You always want to kind of keep your shoulder in line, slightly forward, and your arm almost sitting at a 45 degree angle forward. Again, you can retract. Again, that's a gauge of your trap and scap. That's not what you want when you're a lateral, especially when you're trying to target the medial head of your shoulder. So you always kind of sit in a forward position, whether you're doing cuff lateral, machine lateral, any lateral for that matter, it's always slight forward position. And you don't think about coming up. You think about coming out to the side. Imagine that you're trying to touch the walls at your side. That will smash your delts. Yeah. Dragon. Yeah, and I go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. And we go. And we go. Yep. Big one. Big one. Up, 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 up. <laughs>
Give me one more. One more. Take it. Let's go. Come on. More breaths, more breaths, more breaths. Let's go. Big breaths, come on. Hot breathing, come on. Let's go. Big breathing. So pay attention to the elbow path during AJ's set. He's got his shoulders retracted, forcing him down, bringing his chest up. And the elbow path isn't actually traveling behind him. The elbow path is slightly forward, traveling towards his rib cage. That is extremely important, as again, that's protecting his HE joint and making sure that he's working his actual muscle, not the connective tissue around it. So if you're struggling with pressing and you are having joint issues, please try that method and adjust your position. This one. Take this one. Take it, take it, take it. Yes! Oh! Oh yes! Yours! Don't let go! Oh. gym shot press uh, it's more of a tricep compound moving forward and this is obviously a chest compound so we're ticking every box as we go along and the sequence complements one another with the exercise selection as well a neutral grip press in this rotation and in comparison to a dip in the other rotation to bias the tricep a little bit more. Um, some people will say that purely taking a narrow grip doesn't bias the tricep because the line of force doesn't match the tricep. Um, just do a narrow grip press and tell me where you feel it and come back to me and say your chest and then fair enough but me and Cuba feel this in our triceps the internal feel is there in our triceps so we use this as a tricep compound um, Jordan's big on either neutral grip number presses narrow grip bench presses uh, because I think they build thickness in your triceps and for me especially like my arms are a weaker point I need something decently large in terms of loading my triceps to really bring them up and I think this year as a, as a result of doing these movements and getting strong at them like I was uh, neutral grip pressing the 50s in my off season uh, my triceps are definitely thicker they're not thick enough they're not like Cubas 
but uh, they're getting there, so that's the rationale why we do this here. because he actually showed it me so I'll let the man there uh, explain it so in simple terms most people will do a fly on a cable stack with D handles but the issue is you'll still get pretty high joint force and as a result of that all you need to know sounds like a complicated term but all you need to know is that over the long term all the joint force that you create on machines dumbbells barbells is at some point gonna wreak havoc on coming off your joints. So for Cuba especially, because he's so strong on everything else, anywhere we where we can reduce joint force, we, we can reduce joint pressure, we, we should do so. So the cuffs allow that. Um, they put you in a safe and comfortable position to perform a movement that would previously be pretty hard to perform at the stage and potentially cause injuries and niggles. So on the fly, you want the cuff always on the upper portion of the arm. So that will be above the elbow joint. And then the goal is to bring your two points here. So the bottom point of your bicep, to the bottom point of your bicep. Don't bring your hands together. Just bring your two points of your biceps together, the lower portion of your bicep. That's as far as you need to come. And then we did target, you can't really split up the pecs, but in this exercise, we did try and target a little bit more of the lower portion of the pec as opposed to the upper portion. You want to target the upper portion, set the cables a bit lower, and drive up across towards finishing it just above your forehead. Whereas we were finishing down here. So that's it. Um, have a play about it. Some people hate cuffs. We like them, we get along well with them, and we use them for laterals as well for the exact same reason. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram or DM me on movement of our selection is a seated cuffed lateral uh, we do have a line cuff lateral as well uh, in our other session so this is a little bit different different angle and again the reason why we're favorite cables of uh, any dumbbell movement which with dumbbells we haven't done any dumbbell lateral in probably well over a year and for us it has no business with the strength profile the cables allow you to have constant tension in your delt unfortunately with dumbbell the tension is only at the top you get pretty much nothing at the bottom. So it, again, it's not ideal when you are trying to get most out of this movement. We do favor cables for any, any delt kind of focus uh, movements. And again, to gauge the progression from that, all you've got to do, do is look at my delts and look at Aja's delts. And that should be enough that a proof is in a pudding. So if you don't like cuffs, guys, that's fine. But we like big delts. We like big, big chest. So we will use cuffs. We like cuffs. special coming had to get big arms 101 so today we've got tricep work and we will tick pretty much tick every box today and we'll start with a dual rope attachment tricep extensions and again the reason why we are using both ropes is it allows you to bring your shoulders back protect your scapula and keep your elbows locked in in a position where you can fully lengthen the tricep fully get a stretch and fully shorten the tricep without compromising your shoulders and the movement so any movement you do for triceps that doesn't allow you to bring your shoulders back, it's always going to be ineffective as then you're using your delts and your traps to stabilize and you have to, in essence, be able to lock your scapula in and just stay locked in so you're not actually getting any movement here. Everything in the caster has to stay still. You stay locked in, 
and then again from here the only thing I want to see moving is your upper arm down into the pocket of your hip so pay attention to the way I will execute this and Adrian will execute this and that's going to give you more of an idea of what you need to do to get a big tricep So that's a wrap, push session ticked off, now uh, just had a post-workout meal as well, so off home, sort the dogs out, get the work done, still got uh, Thursdays and Fridays both, very busy days for me, so uh, pretty much work day and then pretty much until like 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, so I've still got plenty of work left to do, so uh, time to get home, get it done. Just stay on the course mate, keep doing the do and uh, shoot me diet over so I can make the adjustments bud uh, and make sure that obviously we do sustain uh, the weight and, and still be able to kind of recover uh, whilst you are labouring so definitely need to get shit done now mate. Is this what you wanted to watch? Yeah, well from the start. Oh, we've done a lot of it while they're training and then... Uh, Proofing the videos bro. Until the time they finish. <laughs> Is it? Uh, what? Well, push. Yeah? After push. Uh? Watching before release. Yeah, always. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's a, it's a quality check, you know. <laughs> quality check. Multitasking, doing some work. And uh, making sure Jay's done a good job. The aim is to drop off. The fatigue, we haven't had a dealer. Yes. <laughs> He's actually nailed this one, so I'll give him props. Do you know what I mean? He's done, he's done a good job. The trailer's pretty sick as well, so I'm going to drop the trailer tomorrow for everyone to see. 
well tomorrow but obviously tomorrow because you're watching this and yeah. this has been filmed like two weeks in hand it'll be like two weeks well, you, know here, yeah. saying, you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so to wrap long ass day complete work done steak meal about to go down with some uh, nighttime subs my nighttime drink and what what tea is it she got some Indian Kama tea Indian Kama tea yeah. it's supposed to like really calm me down so mm -hmm. basically I'm having it I'm gonna have it drip fed drip fed all day and night just to keep me uh, zen on an IV you know yeah IV drip so yeah rookie season out thank you for watching thank you for tuning in guys anything you want to see I always say this and nobody actually says anything but yeah anything you want to see hit me up and again thank you for tuning in guys really appreciate it, it means a lot and uh, hopefully we'll get to show me more of the journey uh, for the pro debut rookie season 2020 boom